The oceans are the engine that drive our planet and are a life support system for sustaining all life on Earth. We all, therefore, have a responsibility to protect them. Intergovernmental organisations, or IGOs, have the duty of bringing nations together to ensure conservation and sustainable use of the ocean. Robin Ross has more. Our vast ocean is the lifeblood of our planet, both economically and ecologically. Its ecosystem supports every single life on Earth. This blue economy is worth $3.6 trillion and 90% of world trade is through shipping. And in this new world created by the pandemic, it keeps us connected. Take the internet. It's worth remembering 99% of the global service is delivered through cables on the seabed, allowing us to work remotely. The big blue gives us so much, but climate change, pollution, Overfishing and acidification threatens the world. We must take care of it and use it responsibly, but it's not easy. Around two thirds of the world's ocean lies beyond the country's national jurisdiction. These high seas are a global commons, so nations must cooperate. Intergovernmental organizations, IGOs, bring countries together to reach international agreements and set regulations. These international conventions created by IGOs help to keep the ocean safe, protect the environment and resources, and allow business to flow across borders. The Institute of Marine Engineering, Science and Technology has officially recognized observer status at several IGOs in the United Nations framework. The International Maritime Organization is the United Nations specialized agency looking after the safety of shipping and the prevention of pollution above and below the water. Looking at sustainable development is the United Nations Economic and Social Council, specialising in economic, social and environmental issues. These IGOs turn to the IMRS for its wealth of expertise in many fields. It has over 20,000 members globally whose work connects them to the world's ocean on a daily basis. This pool of knowledge allows the IGOs to fish out the expertise needed to help them develop policies. Advice is based on the latest scientific evidence, providing mutual advice without commercial pressures. The IMRS Special Interest Groups, or SIGs, allow members to contribute their expertise and help shape the future global policies at IGOs, through networks with other members online, discussion groups, or by joining a committee. Each SIG is dedicated to finding solutions to nearly every kind of marine activity imaginable, from creating carbon neutral ships to finding ways to prevent non-indigenous creatures, such as crab larvae, stowing away in the ship's ballast tanks and hitching a ride to another port. These high seas hold some of the largest reservoirs of biodiversity on Earth. Being a member of the IMRS allows you to make real, actionable change to international standards and regulations. The ocean needs you to protect it, to benefit humanity for many generations to come.